Call him a science. Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary on December 25th in Bethlehem. His birth was announced by a star in the east, which three kings or magi followed to locate and adorn the new savior. He was a child teacher at 12. At the age of 30, he was baptized by John the Baptist and thus began his ministry. Jesus had 12 disciples which he traveled about with, performing miracles such as healing the sick, walking on water, raising the dead. He was also known as the King of Kings, the Son of God, the Light of the World, the Alpha and Omega, the Lamb of God, and many, many others. After being betrayed by his disciple Judas and sold for 30 pieces of silver, he was crucified and placed in the tomb after three days, was resurrected, and ascended into heaven. 1st of all, the birth sequence is completely astrological. The star in the east is Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, which on December 24th aligns with the three brightest stars in Orion's belt. These three bright stars in Orion's belt are called today what they were called in ancient times, the Three Kings. And the Three Kings and the brightest star, Sirius, all point to the place of the sunrise on December 25th. This is why the Three Kings follow the star in the east, in order to locate the sunrise the birth of the sun. The Virgin Mary is the constellation Virgo, also known as Virgo the Virgin. Virgo in Latin means virgin. Virgo is also referred to as the house of bread, and the representation of Virgo is a virgin holding a sheaf of wheat. This house of bread and its symbol of wheat represents August and September, the time of harvest. In turn, Bethlehem, in fact, literally translates to house of bread. Bethlehem is thus a reference to the constellation Virgo, a place in the sky, not on earth. There is another very interesting phenomenon that occurs around December 25th, or the winter solstice. From the summer solstice to the winter solstice, the days become shorter and colder. And from the perspective of the Northern Hemisphere, the sun appears to move south and get smaller and more scarce. The shortening of the days and the expiration of the crops when approaching the winter solstice symbolized the process of death to the ancients. It was the death of the sun. Mm -hmm. And by December 22nd, the sun's demise was fully realized. But the sun, having moved south continually for six months, makes it to its lowest point in the sky. Here a curious thing occurs. The sun stops moving south, at least perceivably, for three days. And during this three-day pause, the sun resides in the vicinity of the Southern Cross, or Crux, constellation. And after this time, on December 25th, the sun moves one degree, this time north, foreshadowing longer days, warmth, and spring. And thus it was said, the sun died on the cross, was dead for three days, only to be resurrected or born again. Yeah, yeah. This is why Jesus and numerous other sun gods share the crucifixion, yes. three-day death. All of them do, concept. bro. This is completely ridiculous. It is the sun's transition period before it shifts its direction back into the northern hemisphere, bringing spring and thus salvation. However, they do not celebrate the resurrection of the sun until the spring equinox, yes. or Easter. Yes. This is because at the spring equinox, the sun officially overpowers the evil darkness, as daytime thereafter becomes longer in duration than the night, yes. and the revitalizing <coughs> conditions of spring Yes. Emerge. Now, probably the most obvious of all the astrological symbolism around Jesus regards the twelve disciples. They are simply the twelve constellations of the zodiac, yes. which Jesus, being the sun, travels about with. In fact, the number 12 is replete throughout the Bible. See, all that old stuff had it, bro. They rewrote that and mistranslated it. Coming back to the cross of the Zodiac. And these mistranslations? The yeah, you're praying outwards? You're praying outwards to somebody. This was not just an artistic Either Moloch or Dagon, not, not to who you think you are. It was also a pagan spiritual symbol, the shorthand of which looked like this. This is not a symbol of Christianity. Nope is a pagan adaptation of the cross of the zodiac yep it's everywhere it's like yeah, nobody knows either man it's crazy all that praying all that knowledge all that memorizing of those scripts and have no idea is always shown with his head on the cross for jesus is the sun 
the Son of God, the light of the world, the risen Savior, who will come again, as it does every morning, the glory of God, who defends against the works of darkness, as he is born again every morning, and can be seen coming in the clouds, up in heaven, with his crown of thorns, or sun rays. Now, of the many astrological, astronomical metaphors in the Bible, one of the most important has to do with the ages. Throughout the scriptures, there are numerous references to the age. In order to understand this, we need to be familiar with the phenomenon right. known as the procession. The old ones, we were in the age of Pisces when they had the fishes the on the Bible. We're now in the age of uh, Aquarius. Right.